Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. Welcome back to the WHKY News and today's edition of Community Focus. I'm Ralph Mangum. WHKY's Ariana Mack and her guest have the latest from the Newton Conover Performing Arts Center. Newton Performing Arts Center has announced they added new shows to their season lineup. Joining us in Community Focus, Executive Director of Newton Performing Arts, Marietta Burke, to tell us more about the small town theater, Big City Entertainment. We start our season with Pam Tillis on September 20th, then followed up on September 21st, that Saturday, with Foreigner's Journey. And then we go into our October season with some more scary fun things. So October 3rd, we have Vampire Circus, which has been here two years before. And it's a totally different show each time. It's performers from all over the world coming. And then the fourth, the next day, we have Jackal, which is a, which is a rock band from the 80s, 90s. We're almost sold out on that one. And then the day after, on the fifth, we have Dracula which is, it's, it's a dance company coming and they have a narrator, they narrate through all the scenes of Dracula and it's, it's a really cool show, a video's on our website if you wanna check it out also. And then after that, we start off with Murder Mystery. So our, murder, our October Murder Mystery Dinner Theater is a Sherlock Holmes theme and we're doing that on October 10th and 11th. So full dinner, uh, we have steak tips, chicken tenders, shrimp. It's a, it's a wonderful dinner with it, you know, full with dessert, three courses, excellent. Um, and then let's see, we go into November. We start off with Marshall Tucker Band on the second. And we just recently added a second show for Marshall Tucker Band on the third. So two shows, if you missed out on the first one on Saturday, which is very close to being sold out, we have a second one on that Sunday that just opened up. And what can we learn from any of those shows by coming to see at Newton Performing Arts? You can learn to have a good time. <laughs> Absolutely. We're all about, you know, forgetting your daily life. Come here, have a great time, see a wonderful show. Just forget about everything. Have fun with a group of people like that are same minded. Just get away from it all. And all of these details are on our website with videos of the shows also. So you can see a little bit of a preview of what's coming. And for some of the shows that are returning, what can we expect new from them? It's never the same show twice, never ever. So if it's a returning performer, it is a brand new show. Like Vampire Circus, it's brand new. They redo the entire show every time. Celtic Angels, they're coming for their Christmas show. And then their Ireland show in March, that's a totally different show. They revamp it every year, new costumes, new songs, everything. So you're never seeing the same thing twice. What's the best way to go about seeing multiple shows? We have a wonderful season ticket package. You have to buy at least 10 tickets and then you get a 10% discount on those show tickets. You can pick whatever shows you want, whatever quantities. It could be 10 tickets to the same show or, or more, um, but you don't, you get a good discount on those. You don't have to pay a ticket fee from the ticketing service each and every single show ticket so it's a good discount on that you know and you get to keep your seats if they're available for each shows and you can exchange your tickets also that's something we don't allow regular ticket holders to do if you're a season ticket holder as long as we know 24 hours in advance we will switch your show to another ticket if you can't make it for much more entertainment visit ncauditorium.com i'm ariana mack for whky Thank you, Ariana. Always a pleasure to have Marietta with us as well. A Hickory Metro County has received grant money. WHKY's Rob Eastwood explains. The Duke Energy Foundation has announced that $50,000 will be available to Alexander County businesses through a grant that has been awarded to the Alexander County Economic Development Corporation. The foundation awarded a total of $700,000 to community development organizations across North Carolina. The one-time business and workforce support grant will assist small businesses and child care centers in Alexander County. The business and workforce support grant program will focus on providing one-time grants to businesses physically located in Alexander County that are challenged by changes in the post-pandemic economy. The grant program will also target assistance to existing child care centers to help expand their daily enrollment. All grant projects will be focused on at least one of the following areas modifying physical space, improving an e-commerce site, 
for online sales or building e-commerce platforms, expanding capacity for delivering goods and services, purchase of business equipment and or building ADA accessibility and public health compliance. Grant applications for business development or child care centers are available on the EDC website. You can link to the EDC website by going to this story at our website, whky.com. You can also get more information on this in that story. The application deadline is noon on September 30th. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob. Coleman Dollarhide of Conover won a $250,000 prize Saturday night in the North Carolina Education Lottery's Powerball game. Mr. Dollarhide bought his winning ticket using online play. He matched the numbers on four white balls and the red Powerball to win $50,000. Because he bought a $3 power play ticket, his prize increased to $250,000 when the five times multiplier hit. Mr. Dollarhide arrived at Lottery Headquarters Wednesday to claim his winnings. After required federal and state tax withholdings, he took home $178,751. Catawba County received a $38.2 million state grant with money raised by the lottery to help make additions and renovations to Newton Conover High School. Thank you all for your support of Community Focus. On behalf of Rob Eastwood, Ariana Mack, Jason Savage, and of course, Marietta Burke, I'm Ralph Mangum. This has been the WHKY News.